Hello and welcome to my creative space. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Welcome to another DIY video. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join this creative squad. In today's video, I have some new Christmas DIYs. These ones are perfect for outdoors. I hope you love them. So let's get started. For this project, I'm taking three of these Dollar Tree signs. The black one is a little bit longer. I'm also going to use these two wooden planks from Dollar Tree. They're a foot and a half long. I will use some fabric, these placemats in the colors black and red. I will use black, white, and red paint as well. And then I am using some ribbons um, as well. Then I will take two of scraps of wood, two by four. Now I'm starting with the two by fours and the black sign. I will be using my cha chalk black paint to give them a coat. I will be painting this sign from both sides just so the color is even. And then I will give one good coat of paint to the wooden planks. Once that is done, we are going to let it dry and we are moving to the next one. I will be using the two square signs. One of them will be painted white and the other one is going to be painted red. These presents are going to be, um, I needed them to be white and red because uh, the colors that we're going to be placing on top of them. And you'll see here in a little bit. Um, as you can see, I ran out of red paint, so the back is going to have to be black. Okay, I'm starting with the black sign and the black and white mat. Now, you can glue it as is, but I really want to get those stripes on there. So, I will be trimming mine. I will be trimming, um, one half is going to be uh, the, the thicker stripes. And then the other half, we're going to have to cut it and place it on there to fill in that other space. You'll see what I mean here in a little bit. You definitely don't have to do this. Me, I just want those stripes on there. So that's why I'm going the extra step. Um, as you can see now, I am cutting what I am not going to use and then placing that mat on there. I will be taking hot glue to glue these together. So I'll start with one of the mats. As you can see, the stripes on the end of this, I really wanted them. So that's why I decided to go this route. Um, and then we're going to place the other one right next to it. And as you can see, now you have more stripes on there, which is what I really, really wanted to make it look like an actual gift, or at least in my eyes. <laughs> and then I do some hot glue. Once I secure the ends, I'm going to start gluing the rest and yeah so we're gonna glue it and then we'll jump into the next step now i am going to take this red ribbon i got from dollar tree and we are going to finish wrapping up this gift now you can pick any colors you want i really wanted to stick with black red and white so that's why i decided to go with these colors and so since this gift is already white and black we are going to give it a red ribbon now there's nothing fancy or special about this ribbons um or i guess this bow that we're about to give it uh definitely you know it's going to be pretty simple again this is going to be used for my outdoors so i'm hoping uh that by you know covering up this sign with the plastic mat is going to help it with the weather and all of that that's why when i saw this placement i was like yes i need them so as you can see i covered up um the gift i did a uh, crisscross on there and then i created this really simple bow and then i found this other ribbon bows that i had from last year they come in a pack of two and i'm sure you've seen them all year round in different colors for different seasons so i'm going to be using that ribbon right on top to make it look a lot more like a gift and there you have the first gift for the next one we are grabbing the white sign we painted and i am going to be using the white fabric i could not find a placemat that was white so that's why i decided to cover up this one with fabric which it should be fine um for for outdoors i'm hoping it stays white for a while so we'll see what happens i'm going to take the fabric and glue uh part of it on the back and then i'll glue the other one just tug on it to make sure that everything is really tight and you don't have any creases in the front and then i'm not cutting any of this fabric i'm just going to glue it to the back and i will be using hot glue for that as well just make sure that you secure it very well because uh, at least mine are going to be sitting outside and you want it to be um weatherproof right 
So yes, uh, just secure them very well and you are good to go. Now for this one, we are going to give it a red bow as well. And this one is just going to go in the top. So I take this mesh uh, from Dollar Tree. It's actually from last year, but I saw it already in stores this year. I'm just going to create two simple loops on each, um, two simple loops, and then I'll zip tie it together. And then as you can see, there's one down there already. I'm not doing nothing fancy with this. Um, I really don't know how to make like fancy bows. So we're going to create simple bows and then we're going to stack them together like so. And then the remainder of that mesh, we are going to zip tie it there so it can give our little bow some tails. And then we'll zip tying those pieces together. And uh, that is your bow. Now, I couldn't decide what to do for the middle to cover it up. And I saw that I had some really cute ornaments um that were red and i was like these are perfect so i decided to take them remove the hangers off of them glue them together and now they look to me like a mistletoe or like the red berries i guess i should say the red berries so i'm gluing them together and then we are going to glue those right in the middle of this bow and yes that is it for this bow and then all that's left is to grab it and glue the bow onto our gift for the red gift, I'm taking the red and white mat, and as you can see, the back was black because we ran out of paint, so one side is going to have to be black, but the red one uh, is going to face forward, so it's fine. Now, these mats are actually about the same size of this um, sign, so they'll be totally fine. You don't need to trim nothing off of them. Um, well, you will to fill in the space that we have, you know that we don't have enough mat for but um as you can see at the bottom i just grabbed the tiniest piece and glue it to the back and then we are going to add hot glue to the front just to secure this mat to the front of this um sign and uh be able to have it completely secured on there now how cute is this i love this mat it's perfect i saw it and i was like these look like wrapping paper so i'm gonna create some gifts and i was like hopefully um when i first grabbed them i was like hopefully my idea comes to life and i think i completed it i i was really happy with it so we'll see now as you can see we're just gluing the rest on the back and then i just got that extra other piece to cover up finishing covering up the back of this gift now for this one i'm going to be giving a black bow and um i had these from dollar tree the the tool is actually from the halloween um season and it's supposed to glow in the dark. It glows, but like really, really light, like nothing crazy. But um, I thought it was perfect for this. And then this other piece of ribbon, I had a leftover from a Halloween bow I DIY'd. So we're using that. And then once we glue it to the back, sorry about these random noises. Ashlyn is here and she can't stay still. I'm sorry. So anyways, going back to the gift, now that I glue that on the back and it's ready to go almost, <laughs> I'm taking the tool and I'm going to do another simple bow. You've seen me do this before. I just um, loop it around until I use the entire piece of um, tool and that, and then we just cinch it in the middle and that creates a really cute bow. You will see right now that I'm almost done wrapping it. I don't know why I didn't finish using this entire piece. Uh, I guess I thought I was gonna use it but anyway you don't have to trim it just wrap it around until you know you run out of the tool and then cinch it in the middle and grab a zip tie um, I'm gonna zip tie it in the middle cinch it and there you have the cute little bow now I had a little piece left from um, that other ribbon we used, and I'm gonna use that to cover up the middle and it's as simple as that once that is completely covered i just trimmed um what i don't need completely glue it back in there and that is all for this one then all that's left is to glue it right on top and how cute is this gift and now it is time to put all these pieces together. Here are the gifts, the wooden planks. Now let's get to it. Okay, so I'm taking the two black wooden uh, planks or scraps of wood and I'm going to find the middle on each one and I'm using a ribbon for that. Now I'm taking the first Dollar Tree wooden plank and I'm going to glue it to the middle of this black one and then once that one is secure we're going to add more hot glue and glue it together 
you can definitely nail these together i think they'll be fine but um definitely an option now to uh attach these two wooden pieces together i'm using some popsicle sticks and a lot of hot glue again feel free to nail them together or staple them together i tested them and they're totally fine now i'm going to start with the black gifts that we did and glue it right to the middle of this um that was the reason why i needed this to be a different size just so they can actually look, look like gifts and then be able to you know um, attach them the way i was picturing in my head now the white one is going to go in the middle and the red one is going to go at the very top i'm adding hot glue and i will tell you right now you will need tumbling blocks because the way at least the way i attach my gifts the white one was kind of sitting in the air in the middle so i had to go back in there and you'll see here in a little bit how i had to attach that there and then the red one you just glue it right on top and under the white gifts and now we turn it over i grab the tumbling block and i'm going to glue it right there as you can see it was definitely on the air and i needed something to secure it and then after that i just added a bunch of hot glue and then um some of these were still wiggling from me trying to figure out how to glue them so i'm just adding hot glue where it needs to go so they can finally attach all together and that completes this project let's take a look For this super easy and cute project, I will be using this scrap of wood I had laying around. It measures about 18 inches long. I'm also going to use some of the Dollar Tree Fall Snow, Christmas trees. These bigger ones are actually from Hobby Lobby. I got them. They were half price off. And then I'm also going to be using these two adorable snowflakes I found at Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm going to start by drilling a hole in this wood before we do anything else. The reason why is because we are going to be sticking our snowflakes in there so i just you know try to mimic what i did on the other side make sure that they're gonna be even on both sides and then i just grab my drill and i drill the hole i um the reason why i did this is because the snowflake will not stand any other way not it, you would probably have to add a lot of hot glue and then sit there and wait until it dries and i was not willing to do that so that's why i did this part Okay, now I don't have any Mod Podge or any other glue, so I'm using this wood glue to glue the snow to our wooden piece. Now, um, you can use definitely Mod Podge if you have some, but wood glue works just as fine, I promise. But I guess it's like a waste of glue if you can, if you um, really think about it because, you know, you could really use that for a different project. But anyway, that's what we got and that's what we're going to work with. Now I'm just spreading the snow right on top and then just patting it down to make sure that everything's covered up. And then it's really simple and easy. You just continue to do the exact same thing until you cover it up completely. Now that that is completely covered, here is where we come with our snowflakes and we glued them to the hole that we created and then i just added additional glue at the bottom and more snow to cover it up and that is it for that part next is adding all our christmas trees and the pack i bought from hobby lobby comes with this bigger one so i'm gonna glue right in the middle i was thinking about it and i was like i should have done like candles on this because this is supposed to be going on my back porch and you know for the christmas season and i was like i should have done candles so just an idea out there you might want to consider um i think it will look super cute with all the christmas trees and then the candles i might redo this i don't know yet but yeah that's what we got right now so or you can even add the little candles right all over i'll see what i can do to you know kind of fix this but now i'm just adding all the christmas trees just spreading them all around and this is a super easy project and it looks so adorable once you sit it outside you can even you know what i might add twinkle lights we'll see stay tuned for that but yes that is all for that project it was super easy to do now let's take a look at the end result
project, I'm going to be using our yard of this fabric I purchased from Michaels. It was almost $9. I'm also going to use some cotton twine, some yarn from Dollar Tree, these ribbons from Hobby Lobby, and fall leather from Hobby, not Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry, from Dollar Tree. Now, I'm also going to be needing a pillowcase or polyfill. Now, I'm going to start with this pillowcase that is the size of this pillow that I'm going to be using. So, I'll trace that with my pencil. I am going to be cutting it a little bit bigger because we want to be able to sew this or glue this together. So, that's what I did. I traced it and then I go in with my scissors. Now, if you're going to be doing polyfill, then um, instead of an actual pillow, then, you know, don't worry about it. You're going to seal it and it's going to be fine. For me, I want to be able to reuse my pillows. So I'm making pillowcases. Now I grab this pillowcase again and I'm going to trace it again. This time is going to be the exact same size because that is where we are going to be sewing. Now, one side is not traced because it's already closed from where we folded, so that is going to be totally fine. Before we move on to the pillow, we are going to be making the stuff that we're going to use to decorate our pillow. So I'm going to create pom-poms. I used the yarn from Dollar Tree and the red and white cotton twine to give it that Christmas look. And then, as you can see, I wrapped it around my hand, and then we are going to wrap it in the middle with an extra piece that is going to be longer. And then you just tie really well, and then you just trim the ends now don't cut that piece that we just used to tie it because we are going to use that to attach to the pillow so hold those long strings don't cut them off and here is our cute little pom-pom how cute is that i'm making four pom-poms uh on one pillow i end up making black i'm sorry not black white and red and then the other ones red white uh, cotton twine only so i hope that makes sense then i take a piece of paper and i'm going to free cut or freehand a christmas tree these christmas tree are not perfect but you know I, I think they turn out super cute now i use the fall leather and i'm going to trace the christmas tree i also end up cutting another small one and i'm going to cut one of the big ones and two of the small ones so we can add them to the pillows now i use my scissors to trim that off and once that is done here is um i'm almost done cutting this off sorry i'm trying to go ahead of my of myself i need some coffee here is the christmas tree how cute is that and then here is the other two little ones i was talking about um so yes so you're gonna need two little ones and one big one now i'm going to take the big tree and i'm going to hot glue the ribbon on there these are pom-pom ribbon and i got it from hobby lobby but it was the time where it was 50 percent off so yes it says 2.99 so i probably end up paying like a dollar 50 for it and it's it's a really good deal to me at least i love the ribbons and i thought it was perfect because it looks like snow on there at least to me let me know what you think if you would have done something different but yeah so i'm just hot gluing there um hot gluing it onto the tree i can't speak i'm so sorry now um you could definitely sew this i just don't have the time to do that right now i really wanted to sew this together because i want to be able to wash my stuff but um you know sometimes you don't have time but if you have the time then i would definitely recommend you to sew all of this together so you're able to reuse it and you know wash it and stuff okay now we are going to take our soon-to-be pillowcase and i grab my four pom-poms and i'm adding them to the corners that is just so i can see exactly where they need to sit and then i grab my thread and my needle and i'm going to start sewing this together now i'm no professional at all so don't come for me i'm just going to do what i think i it's good and what's best so that's what we're doing here so i attach my pom-poms to the corners you know simple easy and then um i just did a few loops and then i just create a knot and secure them inside and that's good now we're going to put the pom-poms inside the pillow which is going to be the outside to be able to show them because if you sew them how they we, how we had them sewing then there once you turn over this once you turn the inside out those pom-poms are gonna be on the inside not the outside so make sure that you are putting your pom-poms where they need to go 
now it's time to sew and i'm going to do a simple running running stitch i think it's called and yes again i'm no professional i'm just giving you some ideas and yes so i think this pillow turns out super cute though but yes yeah, so now i am at the end and then i'm gonna continue sewing the rest of it one by one by one and then don't forget to leave the hole where we're going to stuff our pillow or if you're gonna do polyfill then just leave a little space so you can stuff that polyfill in there now i have this velcro from dollar tree and i really didn't want to use hot glue again because i really want to be able to reuse my pillows but i could not find my fabric glue at all and so i had to use the hot glue to sew the top so i just fold the top to make it look nice you know and then we are going to go with the velcro now i will probably go back in there i have a sewing machine i might go back and sew this together so i can reuse it even though i already use hot glue but um yeah definitely if you are good at sewing i would say sew it together instead of you know using hot glue it looks a lot better and it will last you a lot longer but yeah so i just glued the two ends together now we're going to do flip the inside out and here is what the pillow looks like how cute is this i absolutely love it now you can leave it as is but me you know i'm extra i want to add my christmas trees again i was so mad about not finding my fabric glue so i'm having to go in with the ugly you know hot glue to glue my christmas trees down now i will tell you right now when you go in with the with the christmas trees especially if you're using hot glue i would recommend you to glue the top first and then the bottom because as you can see here i had to unglue my christmas tree to be able to put the little trees um on the sides and that was not pretty i mean you know the glue is already attached to the fabric the fall leather so it wasn't a big deal but I would have hated it for this to be on the fabric, all over the fabric. That's not pretty. But anyway, I'm just attaching one um, of the little Christmas trees, one to each side of the big one. And then once that is there, you just glue the, um, the outside of the little trees. And that is all. All that's left is to add your pillow or your polyfill and you are done. Now let's take a look at the end result. creator squad if you made it to the end of the video thank you thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your support don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what you think let me know which one's your favorite i would love to know thank you thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next diy bye